He had me by the neck, squeezing my neck, and uh, it got really, it got really nasty. It went from like, oh, no one likes you, no one likes me, everyone warned me about you. That's what it was. He started to tell me that everyone had warned him about me and that he wished he had never married me, wished he had never met me. Um, no, no one liked me. You know, it sounds uh, childish, but uh, I, I, I remember feeling really hurt. And then at some point, I shove him hard to get him off me. And he shoved me back and he said, you want to go, little girl? But at some point, he had a broken bottle uh, up against my face, neck area by my jawline. And he told me he'd carve up my face. He um, had my, you know, nightgown and it kind of ripped it off my chest. I remember at one point he's teasing me, taunting me that I, he has my, um, my breasts in his hands. Um, my nightgown came completely off. It was ripped off of me. So I was naked. God. I when I the, the next thing I remember, I was bent over um, backwards on the bar, meaning my chest was up. I was staring at the blue lights, and my chest was on this my back was on the countertops and I thought he was punching me I thought he was I'm sorry God. he was his I felt this pressure. I felt this pressure. He, oh, my pubic bone. And I, he said he was, said he was punching me. I just saw his arm. I could feel his arm moving. And I, it looked like he was punching me. But I could just feel this pressure. It was like it kept hitting. It, it didn't feel pain. It was just a pressure on my pubic bone and.